Hello, and welcome to Glambia's Dairy Focus. Last week we had a wonderful farm walk at the Joint Chagas Glambia Future Farm of Cahill Morans in Kilkenny. And we covered topics such as biodiversity and carbon footprint in dairy farming. This week, Friday, on the 8th of October, and the following week, on the 15th of October, there will be two more similar farm walks. This week at John Ryan's Farm in Tipperary, and the following week at Jack and Larry Carney's Farm in County Cork. For today's episode, we go to our nutritionist, Elaine Brady, and discuss closing covers near the end of the grazing season. So the aim of the Autumn Planner is to extend the grazing season um, into November and also set up the farm for uh, springtime um, for when your cows uh, go out to grass. So you want to aim to close your, your farm at covers between 550 and 600 depending on your stocking rate. So of a stocking rate of 2.5 you want to be closing at 550. Um, a stocking rate of 3 you want to be closing at a uh, average farm cover of 600 to 650 and then if you have a higher stocking rate then again of 3.5 we want to be closing around 700 to 750. Um, so looking at the autumn planner you want to be uh, grazing 60% of your um, grazing platform between uh, within October. Um, so come 1st of uh, November you want to be grazing the rest of your grazing platform so the remainder of of your 40% um, so you should be closing around mid-November so if you have a wetter farm you should have um, started your rotation maybe two weeks earlier um, as the grazing conditions will be very poor and you won't be able to utilize the grass um, in later November so it will develop, um, depend on your soil and weather conditions um, so you want to be closing um, the first paddocks you want to be closing is your drier paddocks um, and ideally uh, those that are nearer to the milking parlour as these are the first paddocks you will be entering um, in the springtime and these are more accessible then. Once your farm is closed the higher grazing covers should be um, between 900 and 200 kgs of dry matter so your 900 will be your first paddock that you've closed and the 200 kgs of dry matter per hectare is the last paddock that you close in, rot in the rotation. So in to maximize utilization of the grass and ensure um, you're hitting your residuals of um, between 4 and 4.5 um, you um, should be using strip wires um, to ensure you're alking the right amount of grass and also encouraging the cows to graze out the paddock. If you want any more information on that topic, please talk to your local Glambia representative or log on to glambiaconnect.com. We end this episode with some footage from John Ryan's farm in Tipperary where this week's farm walk will be held. I hope you can attend. Hi, John Ryan here. I would like to invite you all to the Tagus Glambia signpost walk on my farm on Friday the 8th of October 11am. We will be showing you how I have reduced my carbon footprint and improved biodiversity levels on the farm. We will also have information regarding cows, grass and breeding. I look forward to seeing you all on the 8th of October here in Bully Cornhill.